Hi everybody, I'm Taylor from Spectrum Hydroponics. We're here today to learn a little bit about Snoop's Premium Nutrient line. To help us do that, we have the co-founder here who's going to tell you all about them. Thank you very much, Taylor. So guys, we have two part A and B, three stage, start, grow and bloom, which are tailored for different setups and watering systems. We also have a PK booster, which is enriched with amino acids and trace elements, an enzyme product, which is enriched with vitamins, a root stim and a sweetener, which are both made from plant oils and extracts. If you normally use foliar, flush, bacteria, silica, tea, any of those things, please still use them on top. These are just products we'd like you to try as replacements for your main salts, your PK, your enzyme, your sweetener, and your root stim. All right, so out of curiosity, how did you meet Snoop? So about eight years ago, Snoop was in London and I was a grower for the most part before I moved here. So as any grower would who's meeting Snoop, I took them some flour that had been grown. He very much appreciated that flour. He actually called me up and asked for some more. So for a good couple of years, three years after I first met him, it wasn't a business relationship. It was exclusively making sure that he was taken care of when he was in Europe. Must have been sprayed flour. <laughs> it was actually um, strawberry cheesel, which is the UK Exodus cheese, crossed over with the Reservoir Dogs strawberry diesel. Now, obviously, the Res Dog Seed Bank doesn't exist anymore after all of the politics, but we won't get into that. But that is what that is. It's the UK Exodus cheese crossed with the Reservoir Dog Seed Bank strawberry diesel. All right. So how did that lead to Snoop's face being on these bottles? So after it just being a personal relationship for two to three years, um, him and the management started asking more questions about you know, how it was being grown, uh, at which point we explained that we were having custom nutrients made for us. So what we would do is have the water tested, work out what levels of which element were at, whatever levels they were at in the background PPM, and as such, make our tailored recipe based upon what was in the background. Now, that was an ethos we were thinking to bring to California, yeah. but the problem is that when we started doing water testing over here, we realized that the RO culture is strong for a reason, and that is because a lot of the stuff that's coming out the tap is already running at overload. So even if we put none of the element in our recipe that is already coming out the tap on overload, the plant's still going to have a bad result and we're going to be blamed for it. So right now, as you'll see on the bottle, these are only advised for use on RO water or EC up to 0.3, which would be 210 at the time, 700 conversion. Which I see also you've got uh, different variants here of these. You want to explain those a little bit for us? Yeah, please make sure when you purchase the nutrients that you get the right variant. So on each bottle of the grow and the bloom anyway, you're going to see a little emblem. This one here is a non-circulating, which can be used on hydro run to waste and soil. This one here, you'll see, is a recirculating one, which can be used on hydro recirculating. And then we also have a cocoa specific variant that should be used on cocoa. The start is usable on everything apart from cocoa. Other than the face on the bottle, obviously, what, what separates your line from the other lines that are out there? Ours only have liquid ingredients going in, which can only be sourced the European side of the Atlantic. Believe me, we did our due diligence. We're not spending all this money on freight for no reason. <laughs> um, on top of that, we have really good concentrations, especially on the non-A and B products with very, very competitive MSRPs. So we advise that you work out the cost per gallon from your reservoir rather than just comparing the price of one bottle to the other. Because although the MSRPs are actually cheap, the concentration is strong, so you're going to realize that those bottles are going to go a long way for your money. All right, so one last question. I'm sure the viewers are curious also. Does Snoop smoke flowers grown with his own nutrient line? He does indeed. As you will probably have noticed if you are paying attention to Snoop's social media or anyway, you'll be seeing a lot of these, and these are pre rolls that he consumes and very much enjoys, um, and they're only made with flower grown with Snoop's Premium. Shout out to Greenwoods underscore cannabis on social media if you want to check them out. The actual units themselves come in different variations of strains and uh, amount of flour inside them. This is a 1.5 straight OG backwards with the glass tip. All right, thank you for coming today. Thank you for helping educate them. Thank you for having Pleasure me. Pleasure having you. Once again, I'm Taylor from Spectrum Hydroponics. Check us out at spectrumhydro.com and follow us on Instagram at Spectrum Hydro. Also, if you're in the area, come down by the shop. We're in Santa Fe Springs, California. I'm Ed from Snoop's Premium Nutrients. Check us out on Instagram at Snoop's Premium. Check out the results, hashtag Snoop's Premium. Check out www.snoopspremium.com. All of the information, all the science. If you are in your hydro store, request samples. If they've got the product guides, please take the time to read them. There is a lot of science in here.